I'm Lauren St. Germain here in Tampa. When doctors diagnosed a Florida father and grandfather with glioblastoma, they told him he had 18 months to live. But then he learned about a clinical trial happening here at Moffitt Cancer Center for patients just like him. He allowed us exclusive access to his treatment to see how the process worked and to listen to his story. Whenever I leave the house, I always carry the cross uh, with me just, just, to, you know, just to feel him. Armando Desayas is an avid cyclist. I'm the guy in the spandex and the helmet you want to run off the road. I'm one of those. He takes us back to a beautiful Saturday morning last year. So I went for a bike, quick 20 miler, no big deal. And when he got back, the headache started. That night still had the headache, Sunday still had the headache, and that lasted all the way through Wednesday morning. The headache would not go away. He ended up getting an MRI, and then his doctor called. He says, Armando, I don't have good news for you. And he said, hey, you have a mass in your brain, and you have um, severe swelling, so you need to drop what you're doing and get to the hospital like now. Sure enough, um, I had a, a baseball-sized tumor on the right side of, of my head. Armando had surgery in South Florida and learned the tumor was a glioblastoma. So mortality hits you in the face. At that point, he thought he was out of options. The prognosis going forward is just uh, tackle it a day at a time. Then Armando learned about a groundbreaking clinical trial for patients with glioblastoma. Somebody has to be the first, and so I said yes. So he came to Moffitt Cancer Center. We need to take a pause. Okay. Armando welcomed us into his hours long treatment so we could better understand what the trial entailed. I have my little pocket cross that I, whenever I leave the house, before I grab the keys, I grab my cross and I bring it to every treatment and I bring it to every MRI, you know, and I just, I just, I'm able to pray and meditate and just put myself, you know, in, 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 the, sh in the shoes of peace. So glioblastoma is actually one of the deadliest cancers that can occur in humans. How you been? All right. Dr. Michael Vogelbaum is the chief of neurosurgery at Moffitt Cancer Center. He is leading the clinical trial. So one of the biggest challenges that we've had for treating patients with glioblastoma is most therapeutics that are given systemically, either orally or IV, can't get into the brain. We have something called a blood-brain barrier. And that's a very important uh, physiologic uh, entity that, that helps to keep poisons from getting into the brain. So unfortunately, it also keeps out some of the therapeutics that we use to treat cancer, actually most of them, probably more than 98% of them. This trial focuses on breaking down the blood-brain barrier temporarily to get chemotherapy in. So the general approach here is, is to use ultrasound uh, in combination with what are called microbubbles to temporarily break down the blood-brain barrier. The ultrasound is implanted directly above the tumor location in Armando's brain, and it can be activated through a receiver that sits underneath his scalp. Well, during the sonification, I'll be holding on to this. Very, I'm, surpri I'm surprised it hasn't cracked. Straight in. I beat the one-year mark already. When I was first diagnosed, I was told, you know, anywhere from, you know, you know five to 18 months. Top bar is the timing of the microbubbles to be injected, which is almost done. Five seconds. And then the next bar down is going to be sort of saline flush timing, which comes next. The day we were there was a huge milestone in Armando's journey. <laughs> and today is your last treatment for this trial? Today's my last treatment. Uh, it was seven total. Um, it's my last one. What is it like for you to see Armando here today on his last treatment? Well, it's fantastic. I mean, you know, in, in, in our world, in glioblastoma, um, seeing a patient complete a course of treatment and doing so well, and especially being so functional, uh, that's fantastic. That's what, that's what we're trying to get to for everybody. Um, and so anyone that we see who does this well is, is just, it's a victory for us. What's it going to be like for you today to ring the bell? Earlier, I heard somebody ring the bell, and, and I said to myself, that's going to be me pretty soon. You know, in a couple hours, I'll be ringing that bell myself. Finally. Yeah, seven, man. Can't believe it. All right, Sierra, you, Armando's done. Woo! Great. Prior to his last treatment, Armando had an MRI and received great news. The MRI is showing that I don't have tumor progression. Thank you to all of you. Because once you have cancer, you know, 
it's, it's, it's not about you and the cancer. Everybody in your family has it, you, you can say, because they're all living it, you know, especially my wife and my sons. You know, they're all living it with me. I'm so proud of you, Daddy. Um, Sounds like you have an army behind you. I have a prayer army. Giving him the peace and strength to push through his journey. <laughs> One step at a time.